So I just published my one year review for the OnePlus Open and I talked about one of the downsides being that the device really hasn't changed all that much since launch. Some of the bugs that were present at launch still present one year later, but some of that might be about to change as we are about to get a full version upgrade on the OnePlus Open. That is because OnePlus announced that on the 24th of October, they are going to begin a global rollout of Oxygen OS 15, which is going to be, of course, based on Android 15. Now, while we don't have the full information of what exactly that entails, I think if we look at Color OS 15, which was just announced, we can potentially make some assumptions about what that version might actually look like. So in this video, that is what we are going to do. I've posted this series of posts on threads where I have sort of pulled some things out from the Color OS website, and we're going to take a look at those and hopefully kind of get a broad idea of what Oxygen OS 15 coming soon to your OnePlus Open might end up being like. So again, I have to stress that it's not going to necessarily be one-to-one. -one. While Color OS and Oxygen OS are remarkably similar and they do often share features, I'm not telling you this is what it's going to be, that it's going to look like this, that it's going to have these features. This is simply sort of an exploration of Color OS, and we can maybe assume some of this stuff might come over. Just think of it as a potential sneak preview. And they're talking about with Color OS improved animations, lots of improvements to the appearance, and of course, improvements to the smoothness of animations, uh, so forth and so on. Speaking of those animations, you can see this little animation of the animations here. What I think that they're trying to get across is that animations can now play in parallel. So this will allow you, you know, one animation of an app opening to not be interrupted by you doing something else. I'm sure you've seen these people on Twitter and on threads doing this thing where they're as rapidly as they can opening an app and then going home and opening another app and going home. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to interrupt the animations and basically see how the device handles that. Personally, I think it's a ridiculous thing to do because no one actually uses their phone like this, but evidently, Oppo thinks that it's at least somewhat important because this seems to me to be directly targeting that sort of quote unquote test. And so it should be a bit smoother with regard to that. But they're also saying that rendering is going to be 18% faster, chip level performance is going to be faster as well. So it's just a more efficient version of the operating system. Now, one thing that I'm not like maybe super excited about, I have to really see how this is going to operate when I actually have these devices in hand, but just like the Samsung devices, the Galaxy S20, well, actually it's not even specific devices. It's with the new version of One UI, One UI 7. They're going to be separating your notification panel and your quick settings. So instead of having to do a swipe down and then another swipe down to get to your quick settings, it's gonna be a swipe down on the left or on the right, and they're doing the exact same thing on Color OS 15. Perhaps we'll see this on Oxygen OS 15 as well, but they're also focusing a lot on photo editing tools using AI. So they talk about things like a zoom enhance type thing, zoom in, zoom in again, and it will be high definition no matter how you crop it. They're also sort of clearing up blurry images, reflection removal, blur removal. This is stuff we've seen on other devices and they're going to be bringing this on board in their Photos app as well. Now, one thing that I hope that they don't bring over because I just don't think the world needs more iPhone cloning is this sort of dynamic island clone that Oppo has in Color OS. They're showing off. I mean, look, it's a very smooth animation, and maybe there's some utility to it, but to me, I just see, look at me, I can do iPhone stuff, and that just feels a little bit derivative to me. We also do have on the website a reference to something that they don't call Circle to Search, but it looks just like Circle to Search, so hopefully that is indeed what that is. So we also have some improvements to the customization as well, showing these different lock screens. And they say that they have various different presets. This also does look a little bit like some iPhone stuff with some tweaks thrown on top. I'm not quite as down on this as I am the Dynamic Island stuff. I think that this largely looks pretty good and you can see various uh, template styles free to customize your own style. Again, it definitely has sort of like a iPhone-ish look, but it's not quite as obvious of a ripoff to me, so I think this looks okay. Now, of course, if you go to coloros.com, 
there is a ton of stuff on here. I think that I've sort of picked out the most important stuff and shown that stuff to you in that thread and then therefore in this video as well. But if you want to check it out, I will put a link to this in the description down below so that you can go scroll through it and check it out yourself. Of course, it is in Chinese, so you'll need to have uh, your web browser translate this over to your language of choice. But it does look like there's quite a bit of stuff that they are bringing over or that they're adding to Color OS 15. And I think that there's a good chance that quite a bit of this does make it into Oxygen OS 15 as well. You'll see lots of AI stuff in here, like the ability to do voice recording that are summarized just like you see on pixels notes and documents that are processed and summarized formatted using ai as well very similar to what we've seen on other devices samsung does stuff like this as well given the fact that other than the new ai photo editor the ai eraser that we had rolled out just a little while ago we haven't really seen a whole lot of new features actually arrive on the oneplus open and maybe that's why maybe they're saving everything for Oxygen OS 15, of course that is Android 15, and like I said at the top of this video, it is coming very, very soon. This was posted by OnePlus, coming soon, and they did say more specifically October the 24th. So guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. How much of this do you think will actually arrive on your OnePlus Open? How much of it do you want to see on your OnePlus Open? Again, hit those comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.